Heating Effects of Electric Current Let us understand the heating effect of an electric current in this video. We know that the battery or a cell is a source of electrical energy. The chemical reaction within the cell generates the potential difference between its two terminals that sets electron in motion to flow the current through an assistor or a system of assistors connected to the battery. In order to maintain the current, the source has to keep expanding its energy. However, a part of the source energy in maintaining the current may be consumed into useful works like in rotating the blades of an electric fan. The rest of the source energy may be expanded in heat to raise the temperature of the gadget. We often observe this in our daily lives. For example, an electric fan becomes warm if used continuously for a long time. On the other hand, if the electric circuit is purely resistive, that is, a configuration of resistors only connected to a battery, the source energy continually gets dissipated entirely in the form of heat. This is known as the heating effect of an electric current. This effect is utilized in devices such as electric heater, electric iron, and electric toasters and others. Consider a current I flowing through a resistor of resistance R with a potential difference across it V. Let T be the time during which the charge Q flows across. The work done moving the charge Q through a potential difference V is VQ. Therefore, the source must supply energy equal to VQ in time T. Hence the power input to the circuit by the source is P is equal to V into Q by T is equal to VI or the energy supplied to the circuit by the source in time T is P into T or VI into T. This energy expended by the source gets dissipated in the resistor as heat. Thus, for a steady current I, the amount H produced in time T is H is equal to VIT. Applying Ohm's law that is, V is equal to IR, to this equation, we get H is equal to I square into RT. This is known as Joule's law of heating. The law implies that the heat produced in a resistor is directly proportional to the square of the current for a given resistance, directly proportional to the resistance for a given current, and directly proportional to the time for which the current flows through the resistor. In practical situations, when an electric appliance is connected to a non-voltage source, the equation representing the Joule's law of heating is used after calculating the current through it by using the equation I is equal to VR. 